The governorship candidate of the All Progressives Congress in the Edo State governorship election, Godwin Obaseki, is the governor-elect. The Independent National Electoral Commission declared Mr. Obaseki winner after having scored 319,483 votes to beat his closest rival and candidate of the PDP, Mr. Osage Ize Iyamu. The People's Democratic Party and the party's flag bearer in the Edo governorship election reject results announced by the Independent National Electoral Commission, alleging inducement of voters and collaboration of INEC and the state government to doctor the results in favor of the APC in the just concluded poll. That's our focus on the program tonight. Many thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today, live on Channels Television. I'm Emana Amawe. Don't forget, we are live right now on Facebook, so it means that you can also view us as we speak. And the interesting part is you get to be able to watch us interact and be part of the conversation. Let's know what you make of the matter we'll be discussing. That aside the fact that whenever you're far away from your TV, you can also watch on your mobile device. Uh, the handle to watch on is m.channelstv.com or on your computer. Before we begin our conversation proper tonight, I um, would like to recap some of what's been happening following the Edo governorship election, which held yesterday, September the 28th. The candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, emerged winner of the Edo governorship election. And while declaring the final result at its headquarters in Benin City, the Independent National Electoral Commission's Chief Returning Officer, Professor Kayode Mehun, said Mr. Obaseki scored 319,483,000 votes to beat his closest rival and candidate of the PDP, Mr. Osage Ize Iyamu, who polled 253,173 votes. The candidate of the All Progressives Grand Alliance, Mr. Saro Naiwu, scored 879, 76 votes, I beg your pardon, while his Labour Party candidate, counterpart, Mr. Amos Arulegbe, polled 182 votes. And it's been jubilation for supporters of the All Progressives Congress following the party's victory in the governorship election. They've also described the polls as free, fair, and credible. Leaders of the party have, however, advised their supporters to adhere to the rule of law and celebrate with caution to avoid a face-off with rivals from other parties. And while it's victory celebration for in the camp of the APC, the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Mr. Sage Izeyamu, and his party, the People's Democratic Party, have rejected the results. The PDP candidate is alleging inducement of voters and collaboration of INEC and the state government to doctor the results in favor of the APC in the just concluded Edo state governorship election. Even within INEC, a lot of people have called us to protest about the manipulations going on, even within INEC. Apart from the feedback we've gotten, we asked yesterday, why are they not ready to announce the results? And we were told that they needed time to be able to perfect some of the results. But as it is now, it's not tidy, and they wanted to perfect it. And on the basis of that, they started working. And people in INEC called us. Even last yeah. night to hold a press conference to deny what was happening in INEC. But we just felt that it would be possible to start calling a press conference at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. So we decided that we should do it this morning. And by the time the results started coming, it was clear to us that the information we got was correct. So we do not intend to wait for all the results to be announced. You know, insofar as even one result has clearly shown to us that what they are announcing is uh, pre-written 
are predetermined. So we are we are very dissatisfied with what has happened. On uh, what we intend to do is very simple. We don't want to resort to violence, that is not our nature. But the first thing we will do is to look at all the results. And then we will publish for the people to see what should have been the correct result and what INEC has done. Clearly, clearly, what they are now seeing now cannot be what happened yesterday. In fact, by the time they finish, it will appear that for the, this is the lowest turnout in uh, Edo State history. But you know that this is the highest. So how come there's such a conflict in the results? And again, I've not. People are calling us now on TV to say that our results in Edo Central are being rejected on the basis that the car readers there did not work. So if I next send car readers to Edo Central that do not work, does that not tell the story? The candidate of the People's Democratic Party in the Edo governorship election, Mr. Sage Izeyama, of course, is not pleased with the outcome of the, the elections, but the All Progressives Congress has swiftly condemned the allegations, those allegations describing the rejection of the state governorship election results by the PDP as, quote, an act of a bad loser. The chairman of the Edo State APC chapter, Mr. Ansele Mojezwa, says that the entire process of the election has been described as peaceful. The APC chairman is also asking the PDP to channel its grievances to the appropriate quarters. Let's hear what he had to say. Even if, if in the Sako Central, results were cancelled. Even in some areas in Edo North, results were cancelled. Nobody has complained that nobody's blaming the INEC. INEC is doing their job, and INEC has the right to do their job. For anybody to come, whether you are a senator, whatever you eat, whatever you are, is, now it's not an issue. What we are interested in is the success of these elections. And INEC is working according to the rules laid down by the commission. So nobody should come to intimidate the INEC or begin to blackmail the INEC in an attempt to subdue them. Complaints sometimes, you see, see, you see, people find it difficult to accept defeat. If you are a senator and you are defeated in your local government, you accept your defeat. You will not come to the INEC and begin to lay allegations. People in our area, I'm from, I'm from Edo North. That is where the governor comes from. In such areas, some things were also cancelled. Has the governor come here to protest? By the time the senator represented, those have come here to, 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 to protest. And the governor comes here to protest. Are we not going to be bringing any crisis here? Yes, indeed. The announcement of Mr. Godwin Obaseki as governor-elect in Edo State has come with a lot of reactions. A group from Oredo local government area also went on rampage. They insist that the results announced by the Independent National Electoral Commission are not a reflection of the electoral process. This led to security being beefed up around the INEC office in Benin City after the protesters besieged the premises earlier today. And um, the police... The command in Zone 5 had to release a statement, and part of that statement from the police AIG um, reads that um, going forward, people in Edo State are supposed to carry out their duties, go about their regular businesses because security operatives are on ground to ensure the security of life and property. And um, the, the police would take decisive action against anybody who decides to go against the peace in the state. Well, we'll take a moment on the program right now. When we come back, we'll look at some other issues we've been following before this time.